Hello everyone, my name is Swamp Johnson, and this is Swamp News. Johnny Depp wins! Yeah, that's right. Johnny Depp has won his defamation suit against Amber Heard. And I gotta say, she really shit the bed on this one. But luckily for us, we have experts in the media to tell us the real truth about the situation. The Root says... Amber Heard verdict sends a message to black women everywhere. If that message isn't, don't be a liar, liar, pants on fire, I'm not really sure what that message is. Gun control has been the topic of the week, with every brain-dead moron in the country claiming guns can become sentient and massacre people at will and have absolutely no capacity to protect anyone. And according to Nadler, they especially cannot protect women. And I'd yield back to the chair. Yes. The yield. Uh, let me, gentlelady yield. I, I just want to add that uh, there is no research to support the idea that women's gun ownership increases their safety, regardless of whether they're um, uh, in-person violence victims. In fact, studies show the opposite, that women living in households with a firearm are at greater risk of homicide. A study of female intimate partner homicide risk factors found that even for women who lived apart from their abuser, there was no evidence of protective impact from owning a gun. And a California study found that women who purchased a gun died by firearm homicide at twice the rate of women who did not. To every woman out there watching this program, if a man ever tells you that you do not need a gun for any reason... That is a man you should probably keep your eye on. And of course, the clown show continued with Congressman Jones explaining that he is willing to destroy our country, the rule of law, and our entire democratic republic in order to install his own dictatorship. You know, for your own good. Our lives the same as you did when you were kids, but we can't let you get away with this anymore. Enough is enough. Enough of you telling us that school shootings are a fact of life when every other country like ours has virtually ended it. Enough of you blaming mental illness and then defunding mental health care in this country. Enough of your thoughts and prayers. Enough. Enough. You will not stop us from advancing the Protecting Our Kids Act today. You will not stop us from passing it in the House next week, and you will not stop us there. If the filibuster obstructs us, we will abolish it. If the Supreme Court objects, we will expand it. And we will not rest until we have taken weapons of war out of circulation in our communities. Each and every day, we will do whatever it takes to end gun violence, whatever it takes. What we will do is not fail the children of this country the way that you have failed us. The generations of Columbine, Sandy Hook, Parkland, and Uvalde. I yield. The American Congress, ladies and gentlemen, and never one to be outdone on wokeism, Justin Trudeau has banned handguns in Canada, apparently because of crimes committed outside of his own country. We're introducing legislation to implement a national freeze on handgun ownership. What this means is that it will no longer be possible to buy sell, transfer, or import handguns anywhere in Canada. In other words, we're capping the market for handguns. If you live in the United States and you agree with this, then by all means, please go become a Canadian. You can do it. No one will stop you. And ladies and gentlemen, the time we've all been waiting for it is Pride Month! Yay! Everyone's favorite time of year. The United States Marine Corps posted this on their official Twitter account, saying, Throughout June, the United States Marine Corps takes hashtag pride in recognizing and honoring the contributions of our LGBTQ service members. We remain committed to fostering an environment free from discrimination and defend the values of treating all equally with dignity and respect. They also accompanied that post with this image. 
I think it speaks for itself. Good lord. But it's not all bad news. A grandfather recently confronted a school teacher for encouraging his grandson to wear a dress, saying, We don't do that transgender and all of that. We don't do that. Yeah. She called me and told me that she had an issue up here about my grandson being in a dress. I mean, I'm trying to see what the issue is about that. Okay, you'll have to talk to Dara. Who's Dara? Director. She's down in the other... Is she, the, is she the one that was in charge of the kids while my grandson... I was, but I can't talk to you. Why? Well, well, because you're not on the form. So we'll have to get Dara up here and see if she will let you. I mean, I talk to you about it. I mean, first of all, I'm coming down here because we don't do that. The the the, uh, the transgender and all that, you know, we don't do that. I understand. I don't need and, to do that. And I, I, I don't appreciate you encouraging him to put on no dress. For the second day, too. I don't appreciate that. And don't think this is going away. I'm going further with this. Okay, you can go down and talk no, to No, I'm not done talking to you. I'm letting you know the next time that you put any kid in a dress, we're going to make you go viral. Okay, you need to go talk to my director. And in even more good news, a TikTok teacher was recently schooled by her own students. So today in Queer Teacher Things, um, one of my students asked about my roommate, um, because I know I have a roommate, and I told them their name, and they asked if my roommate was a boy or a girl, and I said, neither, and they were like, no, Miss Brown, are they a boy or a girl? I was like, my friend, they're neither. They were like, well, do they have a boy name or a girl name? And I said, neither. And they said, well, do they wear boy clothes or girl clothes? And I said, well, what are boy clothes and girl clothes? And they go, you know. And I said, no, my friend, I don't know. What are boy yes, clothes and girl clothes? Know. And they said, well, what kind of clothes do they wear? And I said, well, they normally wear jeans and a t-shirt. And they said, well, what color is the t-shirt? And I said, all colors. And they said, well, that doesn't make any sense. And I said, it doesn't have to make sense. And then they walked away because they got mad at me. <laughs> Sounds like your children are still developing critical thinking skills despite your best efforts. So, what a great start to Pride Month 2022. My name is Swamp Johnson, and this has been Swamp News. Hey, did you hear? It's the channel's birthday! <laughs>